Hey, you! Welcome back to my channel. Let's try all the different angles. Is it creepy yet? Maybe? A little? Today I'm gonna be reviewing the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation. That's kinda what I ask myself every Monday after I binge eat during the weekend. Do these pants still fit me? <sighs> We're ready to go. <laughs> Probably not. start off with the primer, the green one, and this is to reduce redness and minimize the appearance of your pores. The reason I got this is as you saw in my video, I have a lot of redness on my face and I do have a lot of acne scars. My acne has subsided a little, so it's not as bad as it used to be when I had like a lot of cystic acne. This is slightly too watery for me. It's very runny. Normally I like a primer that's a little bit thicker, more like a paste, not so much silicone based, but a little bit thicker, kind of like the Benefit Pore, Poreless, Poreless, Perfection, Perfection. The consistency of that, it's really thick and it does feel like you're blurring everything out. With this one, I don't feel that upon placing it onto my face. It doesn't minimize the appearance of my pores, but that's okay because it does mattify my face and kind of evens out my skin a little bit or as far as the redness goes. There are a few things I look forward to when I try any foundation, and what I base my review on is packaging, color, texture, coverage, finish, longevity, and cost. To start off with the packaging, I like foundations in glass. I think it looks a lot nicer. It makes it look a little less cheap and easier to find in my bag because wherever it's really heavy or wherever my bag is dipping, that's where I know the foundation is. Um, the next thing is the color. They have a great color selection. Actually, in 220, this foundation has a great undertone selection. You do get for people that have a pinker undertone or people that have more yellow undertone like me. It does dry pretty quickly and it is for normal to oily skin and I would say that even for people that have normal skin you don't have to worry about it being a little bit too mattifying like I said it mattifies enough but it doesn't over dry your skin which is excellent when it comes to a mattifying foundation. This is a medium to full coverage foundation. It's not light as you guys saw even just applying a little bit it covered pretty much my entire face. While it is medium to full coverage and it's buildable you won't see that it looks cakey at all. Like Even if I just kept on applying and applying and applying foundation on my face it would not look cakey and I think it's just overall the texture of this foundation it's, it's one of the best drugstore ones out there. It's creamy, not too liquidy, but not like a cream foundation either. It's more like a gel. It's a hybrid, like a jelly, creamy, liquidy concoction. As far as longevity, I mean with any other foundation I find that it normally lasts 8 to 12 hours. For me, normally after 6 hours, some oils do start seeping through but not too much. It cost me about like eight something which is really inexpensive. I was a huge fan of the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Foundation. Now that was probably my top drugstore foundation and I still have it and I still use it occasionally but this has become I think my number one as opposed to that one. That one's a little bit more dewy so I like that one for the winter better. Then we move on to the concealer. With this, I think there's only like five shades available. I would not use this concealer for like covering pimples or anything like that. I don't think it provides enough coverage. I did get this in, what color is this? 20 sand to use it under my eyes in order to brighten. And I think it does a pretty good job at brightening my under eyes without making it look a little bit too bright. I do like the staying power for under my eyes. It doesn't last eight hours, but give or take. We're gonna go on with the powder. This whole combination is amazing. Uh, this powder, not too light, not too yellow, not too dark, 
the color matches my skin perfectly and it matches the foundation perfectly. So using all this together just gives you a really nice finish. And it is very smooth. I, I feel like it has a, a nice finish. Like when you touch the powder, it's not, you know, there's, you don't see any little particles kind of bouncing off the product. It is pretty smooth. And you see that? And even when I, on my fingers, it's not seeping into the little crevices and the little lines. Um, there's no additional coverage. If you wanted to apply this alone, you definitely still see my acne or my acne scars. It has a very natural finish and it does help control shines. All right, guys, so that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. And I'll see you all in my next video.